The Mila is the most sophisticated induction range you can buy, and it could be considered one of the best. However, it's also the most expensive at over $9,000. In this video, you'll learn the pros and cons of this range, along with comparisons to other high-end ranges from Wolf, Cafe, and LG Studio. I'll even show you a simple but necessary hack to ensure you get the most out of this range. Let's get started. I'll get into the induction part a bit later, but the main benefit is the M-Touch controls. These controls are super easy to use. You just input the food and how you want it cooked, and the oven figures out the rest. You can also choose from 100 pre-programmed recipes. It's sophisticated, but so simple. The only controls that could possibly be more user-friendly are those of the Wolf Gourmet. They not only calculate the time and temperature, but they also give you the proper rack position as well. Mila's induction range is not a steam oven, but it adds bursts of steam to add texture to cooking, like the hardening of crusts and adding flavors to meats. The best part is that you just touch a button. Once you become a pro, you can add three bursts of steam as you see fit. Moisture is essential when hardening crusts, and this oven can bake bread automatically. Want a California sourdough? Just hit the button. One last noteworthy feature in this oven is its twin convection system. This helps to maintain consistent temperatures so your food will be more evenly cooked with a uniform texture. So here's where I'll tell you about a hack that will help you get the most out of this range. It might seem obvious, but not everyone thinks about this. The most common mistake people make when installing this range is that they forget to have a water line placed behind it. Mila gives you all the necessary parts to hook this range up to a water line, but you still need to run one from your sink. Without it, you lose the steam functionality. This is a worthwhile feature that you don't want to miss out on. Induction offers faster boiling with a lower simmer. It's much more cleanable, but also requires less venting because it's more efficient. We really get into the science of induction in other videos. Mila has a good output on the top with two burners at 3850, one at 3100, and one at 2300 watts. Similar to Profile and Cafe that have one high output burner at 3600 to 3700 watts. Then it drops down to 2000 to 2500 watts from there. LG has the most powerful at 4300 watts, then a 3200 watt burner, then it drops down to 1800 watts. Bosch is similar with one 3700 watt and two 3600 watts and one at 2300. Bosch and most other brands feature something that Mila doesn't. Mila is missing a bridge element, so you can't griddle or cook with an oblong shaped dish. But the other problem is that the capacity of the oven is average. Mila has a 4.6 cubic foot oven. LG is 6.3 cubic feet and Cafe is almost seven cubic feet split between the two ovens. Bosch is about the same size as Mila. This may or may not be a concern. I always recommend bringing in your own pots and pans to your local store. It's better than finding out once you plug this in and turn it on in your home. So what do you think? Is this range worth the money? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more appliance reviews and tips. And if you want to see other induction ranges that we recommend, click here. Thanks for watching.